Hello everybody and welcome back to Gardens and Crystals with me, Wesley Peterson. And once again, I have been out raiding that rack and I've come home with a couple of lovely plants to show you now. These are extra, 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 extra long. Now look at these. These two beautiful plants I'm holding up beside me here like two weights are called Scydapsis pictus argyreus and they are very long. This one I've folded up a little bit. It's just as long as this one, which is all the way down to the floor. If I get up on my chair and show you, there you go. They go on forever and ever. They're absolutely gorgeous. When I saw them, I just had to get them. Look at these. Aren't they amazing? They need a bit of a wash off, but apart from that, they're very healthy, they're very beautiful. They have very small leaves. And this Skidapsis pictus argyreus keeps these smaller leaves compared to the Skidapsis pictus exotica that gets very big leaves and they fold around at the edges. This Skidapsis pictus argyrea, the leaves stay much more flat and they have the same kind of splotches on them as Exotica, but stay smaller. I bought these two because I have an idea that I will want to put them trailing around our kitchen window. I've been thinking about something that I want to have trailing around the window there for a while, and I didn't know what. And then when I was out in the plant center, these two were just hanging there like this, screaming out my name, we will be perfect to hang around your kitchen window because they're so long. So when I end up putting these on either side of the window, um, the window is about one and a half to two meters long. And these will trail up along the side on wire and around the top. So framing the whole window. And on that windowsill, I have all sorts of plants and cuttings, lots of different things propagating. Um, so I want something to go around the edge of that. So these are just going to be perfect for that. These are just beautiful. Just going to take you in for a closer look now, just to make sure you can see everything. Aren't those leaves beautiful? Oh, this is a lovely plant. I was so glad that I found those while I was out there. And now I just want to show you the difference between this Gindapsus pictus argyreus and this Gindapsus pictus silvery Anne that I have here. There you go. You can actually see quite a lot of difference the Silvery Anne has much less uh, small uh, splotches on it, more green, and can get larger areas of silver the more it gets mature. And you can see here over this one, the Argyreus has a lot more splotches, but the leaves are smaller than the Exotica, which gets huge leaves. So this is really, really, really beautiful. So I'm looking forward now to getting these placed around my kitchen window. So that was what I had to show you on this Raid in the Rack video. Thank you very much once again for watching Gardens and Crystals with me, Wesley Peterson. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my next video upload will be. And I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.